Your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Oh, it's such a nice day out there today, and uh, the clouds are back already. A few showers trying to make it down, but the atmosphere is still a little on the dry side. So we're going to wait this out probably through about 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Showers and storms have been strong out here to the west tonight, but nothing overly uh, emphasized as far as severe weather goes. They had several severe thunderstorm warnings out in south central Kansas and a watch, but that threat's going to get a little bit stronger as it slides to the east as we go over the next 24 hours. And I mentioned this earlier, if you are going on spring break or for some other reason you're headed down to the Gulf Coast this weekend, if in particular Friday, you're going to want to have our 48 First Alert weather app. You can download that now before you leave because all along the route, there's going to be thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow. And if you're getting out, you know, you leave leaving after school, which most of you will, uh, you're going to encounter these stronger storms, especially if you get down to the south. And Auburn, they've been on their spring break. I'm not sure about Tuscaloosa. Uh, they, I don't, again, I don't know. I just know because I have two boys down there in Auburn. So that's how I know they're on spring break. But that track will continue to move to the east into southern Georgia and northern Florida as we go through the day Saturday. The primary concern for severe weather is south of us. We could see a strong storm or two around here, but our biggest threat is really going to be the heavy rain and some wind gusts, maybe 40 to 45 miles per hour. So about two inches of rain can be expected, especially in the southern fringes of the, of the viewing area, about a half inch to an inch of rain elsewhere. Hail really not a big factor here, but lightning always a present danger out there. Here's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, roughly 25 minutes after that. We've got widespread rain coming into the shoals down to Russellville. Bill Campbell slowly tracking east northeast and if there's one change that's starting to show up it's that we may not see the rain last all the way into the late night hours so what's likely going to happen this happens a lot uh, especially this time of year is we get a lot of rain up here and then there's going to be a lot, a lot of thunderstorms down south and that blocks that transport of more instability up here so by the time uh, that stronger upper level winds come through uh, the severe weather threat's probably going to be over with so we'll keep an eye on it for you but rain cooled air even though it's in the low 60s, that will be rain cooled air enough for us. And then the other change here is perhaps a little bit more rain early Saturday morning. It's definitely going to be warmer Saturday morning than it will be Saturday afternoon. So let me take you past 8 o'clock Saturday. Northwest winds take over and look at the temperature start to tumble. Upper 40s and low 50s and clouds. So just a stubborn cloud deck out there. Uh, the good news is behind this storm system, we dry out. So Saturday afternoon looks decent as far as dry weather goes, but it's still going to be cloudy. No rain Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. We're pretty confident about that. We're also confident about heavy rain tomorrow. That's why we've got the first alert out there. So again, the severe weather threat looks to be south of us. And don't forget, change your clocks this weekend. Huntsville Havoc in town tomorrow. Huntsville Havoc in town Saturday as well. And we've got some nice weather in town. So I mentioned the beach for spring breakers. Hey, if you're sticking around home, eh, the first day of spring break, not too good. But hey, it looks better. 63 Monday, close to 70 Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay.